Hey everyone, it's Keely here with another process video. Um, this layout I actually made on and off of uh, last week. So far what I've done is I've hand cut out um, a quart. Um, it's one I found on Pinterest and it says let your smile change the world but don't let your don't let the world change your smile and I just thought it was a really lovely quote um something that I could you know I wanted to create for my daughter to look back on and what I've done is I've used my mind the scrap make kit and I've picked out various different papers um for each letter of the quote um, and I'm going to stick it onto the white cardstock background. When making this, I didn't actually think how big the quote would be in the end. Um, so I really do have to squeeze this on. The photo that I've picked is one of my little girls. She was, I'm trying to think, hmm, maybe six, seven months, something around that time. Um, and she's just sat in a high chair and she's got this absolutely beautiful little smile on her face. Um, so I thought it was the perfect picture for this one. And what I decided to do was hand stitch through each of the letters uh, just to give it some detail and some texture. And as well I haven't cut out the centres of like the O's, the D, the B and I think the A's. Um, so I wanted to add those details in which I have done off camera and it did take me in fact this whole layout took me ages because I was doing it in little stages um, and obviously it was you know each stage took quite a while um, I think the cutting the letters out took me I think about two or three hours um, of drawing around because um, what I've used to draw around um, to create these letters was some really old I think it's K and Company chipboard um, alphas I've never used them I had them given um, from my mum when she um, cleared out a lot of her um, card making supplies and she'd never used them either so there's every letter there but it's not they're not something that I'd you know not really in the style that I, I like to use so I mean, I've I've thought about you know embossing them and things like that, you know, because I've got a gold and a silver embossing powder. I do want to get more colours in those because I, I I actually um like the idea of you know revamping some old supplies, um and making them a bit more modern so that I can use them now. Um, but yeah, what I did was um use them as like a a stencil in a way to draw around each of the letters just so I could get them all you know the same size and in the you know same kind of font um so yeah so I'd, I'd done all that that took me about two to three hours and then the hand stitching I did over a course of a few days um I just did a couple of letters each time so it did take me you know a long time to get that done but because the weather's been so lovely lately um I've not really wanted to you know be sat in I've wanted to get out with the you know the kids and you know make those memories to scrap um so i've been doing you know playing out a lot with the children where we live now which we moved here in november um it's a lot safer for the kids to play out um you know we're not on a busy road like we used to be so yeah so i've been doing that a lot with the children and they play with you know the kids that are, are local to us as well um, we actually had um, because there was because of the wedding, the royal wedding at the weekend. We had a little street party with a lot of our neighbours, which was you know really nice. We had the pool out, barbecues out. It was really good. Um, so we're you know we're hoping that we do a lot more of that over the summer. <coughs> um, so what I'm doing now is I'm deciding on which embellishments to to use. I kind of had an idea that. You know each gap I'd do like some sort of cluster but it didn't seem to look right when I was you know trying things out um so you see me like messing around with a lot of different things that we got in the kit I did decide to put these black enamel dots in between each of the the words that are on the same row and it would just so you could 
you know, it kind of define, you know, each word of the quote. Um, and I didn't do it between world and but because the gap, I didn't leave a big enough gap. I don't know what I was thinking because, I mean, there's a gap at the end, so I could have put a bigger gap between them. Um, so I do add um, a little sequin um, towards the end in between those, just, again, to define the different words of the quote. Um, I also, which I did it, I think I did it when I did the hand stitching, um, I cut my photo down slightly so that it would fit in the, the gap that was left at the top. Um, the photo was, I think it was a two by four, I think. Um, yeah, it will be. No, I think it was a three by four, sorry. Because um, I, I used the Becky Higgins Project Life app to add two photos onto uh, a 4x6 so yes yeah, so it'll be a 3x4 um, there's not really much else to say because like I said um, I didn't really over embellish in the end I thought I was going to but um, I do a small cluster around the photo I use the arrow which is already there I use um, a little word phrase sticker from the bliss sticker pack um, the arrow is from Bramble Fox. Um, we got one of the um, little mini bags with all different arrows, and uh, I think there's a uh, you know a couple of different symbols in there. I decided to back my photo in some tissue paper. There was a lot of pattern going on because of the the large quote that I put in the background, so. Um, I thought it was just a nice little uh, subtle touch to, um, you know, to back the photo, um, which when I do attach the photo to the page, I pop it up on some um, some form squares, which I'm running out of these, so I do need to get some more. Um, yeah, and I put it in the, the top corner. And then I don't think I do any more embellishment clusters. I think... I do something with the the butterfly that I've moved around, um, but I think that's really it. I did try the the clear stickers that we got from the I think it's I think it's um, is it the Heidi Swap Paradise Crush? I think I think that's what it's called a pineapple crush, something like that. Um, I think it's pineapple crush. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I did try some of those, but as I peeled it off, I actually tore a little bit. So I, I, I didn't like how it looked once I'd stuck it down. Um, <clears throat> I will try and repair it so I can use it on another layout. Um, but as well, because of the quote, some of the other stickers and things weren't really, you know, appropriate for, for this photo. Um, so yeah, that's the... The photo and the cluster and the photo done. Um, I think all I really come in with now is some um, sequins and I think I add some more little enamel dots and things. Um, I did make this last, like I said, last week, so I can't can't really remember what I did. <laughs> um, I'll have to, you know, have a look at the layout again properly, but. Um, I am quite happy with how it turned out in the end. Um, like I said, it was quite a squeeze to get the the quote on there. I do mix up the colours of the the sequins. I use some of the gold and some of like the the rose gold pinky ones. I actually love this sequin pack. I think it's definitely been one of my my favourites so far from you know sequins that we've got in past kits and things because I absolutely love these pink ones and I've used them on quite a few of my layouts so far. I haven't actually um, been filming all my layouts. Uh, I've just been really trying to get back into you know the whole scrappy mojo and things because like I said it's been lacking for me a lot lately. Um, so I've just been 
rather than you know worrying about filming and things I've just been scrapping to see how I go and I've actually made um I think I made three other you know other um layouts using this kit which are on um my Instagram if anyone wants to take a look um so I've made quite a few different ones and um you know using different elements from the kit um so yeah so I'm quite pleased actually with how much I've already made with this kit I think in total I've made um let me think four five six layouts so far with the kit um and I think we should be getting um the new kit in a couple of weeks so something something to look forward to but I'm hoping to make a lot more layouts with this this one before before the new one comes um here's some close-ups for you um i'm like i said i'm really happy with how it turned out thanks again for watching